What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I know a lot of people excited. Maximum football trailer going to drop tomorrow. Many people want to look into making their own logos and colleges. Wanted to kind of do a bit of a tutorial here. I'd done a few of these last year, but obviously the channel and game has grown so much since then. You basically select the part that you want, and you can then manipulate it, skew it, however you would like to go about. You kind of have to be a little bit creative with the pieces that you use here. In this case, you know, I could actually be a lot more detailed instead of just duplicating those layers. But obviously you can go through and kind of modify things to get them to line up as good as you want. It can be a little bit time consuming, especially as you see when I get the, the eyeball in here. But you also have to use some of the creativity in making these layers go over each other to make it look like there's a break when there's not. In that case, trying to separate the eyes of the flamingo. And then, like I said, it's really just duplicating it and dragging it across to get everything to appear lined up. As far as creativity, you know, trying to create the feathers on the back of the flamingo's head takes some agility. Try not to get into the eye, but also try to make it look like there's something there when there, there's really just additional layers you can see if you look closely down at the bottom i have to go back and readjust these layers to move that one so they don't hang over and you have a complete image from there you drag it into the team screen where you select the logo for the helmet left and right you can invert them if you didn't want the flamingo's beak to be on the front side of the helmet each time and then obviously you get to select this also as your logo which is used in game the only thing i would caution you here is be careful with your main color if it's the majority of your logo you also run the risk of your team abbreviation being kind of overly one color when it's on the scoreboard and on the ticker but that logo is then put on the midfield and that's about it real time in about eight minutes as long as you look at shapes and you kind of have the ability to be creative with what you're doing you shouldn't have much of a problem with it i appreciate you guys checking this out and we'll be back very shortly with more commentary 